What's up, people? Welcome to the video and welcome back, members of the Tang Gang. Today we've got the third and final part of the North American Pokedex, which covers Pokemon from Gens 6 through 8. Links below for the previous episodes of the series if you're new. We already went over all of Asia and Europe, so if you haven't seen those, definitely check them out. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Tang Gang. And now, without further ado, let's jump into this. Binnacle and Barbaracle Inspired by goose barnacles commonly found on the west coast of the United States. Clauncher and Cloitzer Big claw snapping shrimp are found in the western Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. Tyrun and Tyrantrum The oldest discovered T-Rex fossil was over 66 million years old and found in Saskatchewan, Canada. Halucha It's based on luchadors as well as Aztec eagle warriors, both of which originate from Mexico. Klefki Keychains were invented in 1836 by Ohio-born Frederick J. Luden. Rowlet, Dartrix, and Decidueye. They most resemble the Poyo Owl, endemic to Hawaii. Crabrawler and Crabominable. Based on horsehair crabs, found mostly in the eastern Pacific Ocean in places such as the Bering Sea near Alaska. Oricorio. Inspired by the Hawaiian honeycreeper, which has a number of different species that each prefer a different type of flower. Morlul and Shinotic. They are bioluminescent mushrooms like those of the genus Mycena. American mycologist Alexander Smith is known for identifying 232 species of Mycena back in 1947. Salandin and Salazzle. Whiptails are a family of lizards and salamanders. Many species of whiptails, including the New Mexico whiptail, have mostly female populations, which explains why only female Salandit can evolve. Stuffle and Beware Stuffed bears were apparently invented simultaneously by toy makers Morris Mitchum in the US and Richard Steiff in Germany in the early 1900s. The fact that they have become known as teddy bears after Teddy Roosevelt, though, makes America the better origin. Comfey, the Pokemon version of a lei. In Hawaiian culture, rings of flowers called leis are handed out upon arrival as a symbol of affection. Wimpod and Golisopod a giant isopod found in many oceans but first discovered in the Gulf of Mexico by American scientist Alexander Agassiz. Sandygast and Palosand Sandcastles have probably been around almost as long as sand has, but the first known profitable sand sculpture was built in Atlantic City in New Jersey. Togenamaru Based on New World porcupines, which inhabit the wooded areas of North America. Bruxish the reef triggerfish is also called Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apawa'a in Hawaii. I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly, which I definitely did. And it is also the official fish of the state. Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, and Tapu Fini. These four are the Pokemon incarnates of the four major Hawaiian gods. Koko is Kuka Ilimoku, or just Ku, god of war and conflict. Lele is Kane, the creator god. Bulu is Lono, god of agriculture, abundance, and peace, and Finny is Konaloa, god of the ocean. Lunala. Its bat-like appearance most likely references the Hawaiian hoary bat, endemic to Hawaii. Its Hawaiian name is Half Leaf, referencing how its body looks like the shape of a half taro leaf, which Lunala's wings also resemble. Nihilego. The specific type of jellyfish it's based on, Aurelia aurita, is found on the coasts of Europe and North America. For jellyfish in general though, the oldest discovered fossil was found in Utah, so NA wins this time. Buzzswole. Mosquitoes are distributed widely throughout the world, but the oldest mosquito to be found with blood inside of it was discovered in Montana from 46 million years ago. Feromosa, based on the American cockroach, which is endemic to the Americas and was originally introduced to the US from Africa in the 1600s. I have it here instead of Africa because even though they started out in Africa, they no longer exist there and they now exist only in the Americas. Guzzlord. No definitive origin here, but it's inspired by the general concept of abominations, such as those in the literary works of H.P. Lovecraft, an American fiction writer. Marshadow. An incarnation of the concept of shadow boxing, a training exercise used to prepare the muscles before the person training engages in stronger physical activity. American boxer Muhammad Ali performed a famous shadow boxing routine on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Nicket and Thievil The cross fox is a variant of the red fox with a stripe on its back and over its shoulders. Its shiny form is probably based on the even rarer silver fox, another variant of the red fox. Cross foxes are very common in the northern regions of North America, making up 30% of Canada's fox population. Choodle and Dreadnaw Shows traits of the alligator snapping turtle, native to freshwater habitats in the United States. Clobopus and Graplocked A living representation of octopus wrestling, popular on the west coast of the US in the 1960s. 
Cursula. Coral bleaching is when coral dies and loses its color due to changes in its environment. The first recorded mass bleaching event took place in the Belize Barrier Reef in 1998. Belize is in Central America, which is typically considered part of North America. Snom and Frost Moth, based on the Arctic woolly bear moth found in the Canadian archipelago and Greenland. And Calyrex, this new legend is based on an Arctic hare, one of the largest living lagomorphs. They roam throughout Greenland, the Canadian Arctic Islands, and elsewhere in northern Canada. And speaking of Calyrex, we got a few other new Pokemon in the Crown Tundra as well that had to be sorted into a continent, and it turns out they're all from continents we've already done. Regieleki and Regidrago belong in Asia with the other three titans, because they're based on the golems of Hebrew legend as well. Meanwhile, Glastrier and Spectrier are hanging out in Europe. They are two of the four horsemen of the apocalypse from the New Testament of the Bible. Glastrier is conquest and Spectrier is famine. Also, Glastrier resembles a unicorn, the national animal of Scotland, and Spectrier may be based on a Kelpie, a shape-shifting water spirit from Scottish legend. And that wraps up our North American Pokedex. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. We had some pretty cool origins in this one. Let me know what your favorite one was down below in the comments. We've got four continents left to cover and the next episode will be part one of the continent with the fourth most Pokemon. Thanks again for watching and hey, do me a favor and share this video with a friend. I've got a really small base right now and I love you guys so much, but let's expand the Tang Gang together. Let's get this video up to 10 likes and I'll get the next episode up by this time next week. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, so until we meet again, later people!